Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be putting together Belle. So uh, this is the second video, because the first video was showing you the black background. We taped this together. I'll show you what it looks like. And for once, because I'm doing just a 20 inch character, it's still off the map because it's you know bigger than 12 inches, but you can see it all on one screen because it's small, so I love it. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot to this one. The reason why it's in multiple videos is because um, I wanted to do the majority of the pieces in HTV. So what I did was I cut out, for instance, like her hair, I cut it out in just regular cardstock. And then what I did was I added HTV on top of it so that I had more access to different colors and textures like this hair. I don't. It's really not showing that well because I can see it on the screen over there. It's in person, it's this like metallic bronze. I don't know, it's just gorgeous. And then look at her earring. Her earring, you can see, it's like really sparkly. So I wanted to give that whole thing. So the first video was taping these two together and doing all of the pieces in HTV because that took a while. I wanted to show you also, this is her dress. The glitter is just, you know, it's just a little bit more extra than what, you know, you can get with cardstock. So I really wanted to showcase that. So let's, um, but I'm still treating the pieces the same because on the back side, it's, um, you know, cardstock. So we're gonna piece this together and then we're gonna glue it down like we would. So the only difference is that it's just got a different texture on top. I mean, you can see, look at that gold. I love it. Now her face, unfortunately, I'm still waiting on the HTV for the face. But, so for now, I have just the, the cardstock equivalent. So I might just put it down, glue it down, just so that you can see how that works. But even her eyes, I did um, uh, everything, like eyes, like this, I normally would have used the brown glitter cardstock that I like, but I love that the hair and the eyes are now different because I only had one color of brown glitter cardstock, so it would have been the hair and the eyes, which is what I've done in the past. So this is gonna go in here. So with using HTV, I basically cut, it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if you wanna do this with me, but I just wanted to show you another option. Um, and I wanted, I really wanted to try this out. Um, because what you end up doing to make sure that your black background doesn't get overheated, I cut every piece in cardstock and then put the HTV on top of it so that no piece got so much heat. Um, and it worked. What is this piece? Oh, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Um, so we're just gonna continue putting this together and then we'll glue it down. So. And we're still gonna apply all the same principles. Like, um, you know, her, her face, because we did do, why is this not fitting? Sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking, hold on. It's not like, okay, here we go. Um, because her mouth is a piece, right? Oh no, that's just, there's no, there's no lines right there. But her mouth is here, right? So if there were seams, it would be covered. I mean, look at that. I feel like, and it, it, it has, um, you know, with HTV, you have a different finish on it, right? So it's not as, uh, flat, I guess, as cardstock. So I feel like this lip color, you know, sort of looks like lip gloss. So we're just gonna continue doing this and then we'll see. And then I'm doing Belle, and um, this is all for the, for the Expo, Impressions Expo. So we're gonna be able to, we're gonna see Belle in different poses, different phases of her life, different cardstock. We're kind of doing it all. So I'm really, really excited. I hope you enjoy that I'm um, trying to do different things. So let's see, all right, so here's her face. Here are the little, um, this little guy I think is this piece. Celebrate 
And I think the first time I did Belle, this was all the same material. So I wanted to be able to kind of show the difference. All right, so here are her Sarah earrings. Bobby. Oh, it's been two weeks since you see this. Because um, every class is over the new ones. Um, let's see, okay, what did I do? Double holiday. Twins, double trouble. Tropical I feel like I lost an eye. What happened here? <laughs> oh, no, here it is. Okay. More bad so I'm going to put her face down. And then once we have all the pieces down, and I recommend this whether you're doing HTV like I am right now, or just regular cardstock, is you still need to line everything up because that gives you the opportunity to fix any mistakes. And what I mean by that is, once, you know, if you get a little bit off in um, putting a piece down like where it should go, then once you put that piece down and it's taped or glued or whatever, you can still fix the spacing by spreading it out. So if you start taping right away or gluing down right away, you're going to miss that opportunity. And maybe this side, that piece for some reason is, has too much of a, you know, black border, but you know, doing it this way, you can kind of still spread that error around. <laughs> So you want to be able to do that. All right. So her face is beautiful. So image sets Let's are see. here, and they always put. I feel like I can't get this face, face to be right. So there, finally, I think that's right. Okay. Her hair is in a lot of pieces. I'm not thrilled about that at all, but I was willing to kind of pay the price uh, to experiment. So I think this piece is kind of like up here. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel. But maybe with her hair all like this, you'll be able to see what I mean by the color. Oh yeah, you can see it now. I think the color is just so beautiful. Jude, Sherry, it's this bronzy, Eddie, copper kind of deal. All Colleen, right, where does Karen, this piece go? Jody, Trish, this Beth, is a two-piece. And I'm so Janet, bad Laura, at Barbara, this. Barbara, <laughs> Melissa, it's like, Cheryl, there are only so many pieces. Why am I struggling to find where this little piece goes? That's crazy. All right, let's see if this helps me. This is a bigger piece. Um, yeah, it doesn't really help me. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a pretty big piece. It's got to be. Oh, it's this. If you're on Facebook, please go over to youtube.com slash Melody Lane so you can join in on the giveaways. I'm going to shut down the videos on Facebook and Twitch. And I kind of kept them in, in sections to help, and it still is not all that helpful for me. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. This goes here. So make sure you come over to. And you know, I'll flip it over. This was my other option, kind of like a flat brown cardstock, right? So here you can kind of start to see like between the earrings, the eyes being a different color, and the hair. I think it really does. Um, it just gives us more options, that's all. You may not like it. It's more expensive to use HTV. But, you know, this is good if, for instance, if you were, like, really in a pinch, too, and you didn't have anything, like you ran out of your cardstock, this is an option. An expensive option. A more expensive option. But an option nonetheless. Thank you, Charlie. That was so And this is curving a little bit because of the way I peeled it off the mat, like, once I... Um, once we That's ironed on the HTV. So between the heat, but look at that, right? So pretty. Um, okay. I still don't see where this piece is. That's so ridiculous. Oh, I see it finally. Okay, it's this this little guy right here. Oh my God, that took forever. And she learned how to weld and slice and contour and a lot more in this video. Welcome. 
Okay, so we've got these little pieces. I don't know where that goes. Do I know where this goes? I don't know where that goes. <laughs> We're almost done though, because it's just the hair. That, oh shoot. Just the hair that's left. Okay, so this little piece. Where are you? This big piece. Okay, I know where this big piece goes. I think I know where it goes. <laughs> there we go. Bringing it over, okay. I also want to say, we are going to so put this uh, little piece. Gosh, why? Why is this so hard for me? <laughs> so let's everybody say goodbye to Facebook and Twitter. I am so bad at puzzles. My husband loves puzzles too. And he does the crazy hard ones, like where the pieces don't, the edges don't even have edges, so you don't know that it's a outside piece. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Starting to narrow down, so. Nope, oh, that is off center like that. Uh, where do we go? I don't know where we go. Okay, so you guys on YouTube. Somebody just asked in the chat, how do you support on Patreon? If you want to support on Patreon for just two dollars, it's two dollars a month. Or Click it and go. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I have this. It's patreon.com slash Melody Lane. Just sign up for the $2. There's higher tiers. You get more. Uh, if you sign up for $15 and you support for January, February, and March, you're going to get this. Oh, she looks pretty, right? Okay. Got a few more pieces and then we have this section. I'll bring it over. I am super excited to show this piece. Now, she has, let me flatten this for a second. There is a seam right here and right here, but I think with everything, you don't even notice it. Oh my gosh. She looks, I really like the hair. I feel like it gives this like, um, like a more printed look, but very exact and just, it's, really really pretty in person i hope that you can kind of see that um okay let's finish this off where are these pieces i think these are up here and i may i think i'm gonna have to glue down these pieces and if i do in fact get HTV that works well for the skin, I'm just going to cut out another layer, put HTV on that and put it on top. So everything is like layered upon layers. Um, and I don't think it's going to look weird or anything like that. Um, and again, I'm not suggesting that you guys do this, but this just gives you an option if you ever wanted to do this, that you could try it out. Okay. Is there content from Design Space with Cricut cartridges? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back to Design Space. Oh, wait. Are you on this side? Okay. Oh, I'm missing that little piece. We have a I knew there was a piece. Okay. So I'm looking at this on screen. I want to make all my adjustments right now and then start gluing things down. Because once I start gluing things down, then the adjustments, they can be made of course, right? But they're gonna have to be minor adjustments and it's gonna be a little funky. So um, I feel like this piece is a little weird. Oops, let me move my face out of the way. I think it's more like that. So, always look through here. The settings in here. You can play with this stuff. Manage custom materials. That's not something I would do yet. 
And so you uh, are more playing around cutting and doing different stuff. Oh, you're in the Gucci shirt? Is that you? I did put it down because I was going to say something. I don't know. I don't remember putting that before. Um, uh, so my screen is that way. That's why I'm looking that way. Kind of hard to see these because these are a little bit bent, right? Oh, my project's down here. I don't know where I am, but I have a dead dry thing. I'm going to go ahead and put But if everything else looks good. So it just does give you those cuts. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I've been out of it for a week. Go to my projects. You scroll here. Check, so this doesn't look right. This piece is off a little bit. Okay, and images. There's so many ways to find images. There's I feel over like I can't. thousand images. And it could just be the image. Oh, it is the image. Oh, the so image has the this, text, it's thinner. So the line right here is thinner and this is thicker. Okay, this. so that could be and part of the problem. Okay. So I think this is good. Thank you, Cheryl. So we're going to start gluing. I think it's good. Let me look at it some more. I'm not ready. I feel like once I start gluing, if you know, it, it's the process of being so permanent. Um, okay, I'm going to start gluing some of the easier parts, like the earrings and the dots down here. So I have my glue here. And I'm going to use my little putty, so give me a second. I'm going to grab that, which, okay, here we go. This just helps me grab the pieces a little bit better. Okay, yeah, here's the paper dolls. These are the fun ones. If you don't own these, I'm not sure if I think I put too much glue. I'm going to put, oh! <laughs> I had a cup over here. Don't mind me. Hot mess right now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this down just so that I can dab some of the glue off. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. I have 479 image sets that I have purchased. Welcome, Dolores. Oh, you know what? These are fonts. So the ones that are fonts are not in this area. They're just fonts. I think they're just showing me. All right, my earrings are down. I'm gonna go back down here and do these pieces because I feel like these look more in line. All right. So you can see I'm just putting, spreading like really thin. Now, when I'm using Barely Art Glue, it does dry clear. What I want to do is, I want to hold it down while it dries. It doesn't take that long to dry, but I want to make sure that all my edges are drying flat and touching the surface below. So that's why I'm holding it and not gluing and moving on. Um, I will say that I used to hate working with glue because I've had some really bad experiences with glue where I glued everything down, walked away, and it was still drying, and all of a sudden it warped and it curled up, and my whole off the map project curled up, and it was just like, um, just ready to like cry moment. <laughs> so I'd rather not, you know, repeat that. So, uh, but that was not barely art glue. That was my own, my own experience with a different glue company. Thank you for, for falling 
Glue side up. Okay. All right, I'm giving up on that little piece and that little tool for now. I don't trust you right now. And you see things like shift so much because you accidentally touch it and it's going to move. So this part is, it's just a process. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands clean of the glue. Put this back where I want it. Um, so now this is a drawing image. And I think I am going to glue this down because I feel like this is going to continue shifting and it's going to be hard for me to handle with the hair as well. So I am going to put this down. If you're on an iPad or something, you can still do that. Okay, so I think I know where to put it down. I'm going to lift it up. Put the glue. So when that piece comes in, if I do change my mind and do HTV on this, I'm just going to cut another piece, put the HTV on top, and glue it on top of this. So it's just going to have another layer. Or I can draw this. I can also choose the pen color that I want to draw with. Now I don't have to because I can. So we're constantly making adjustments to this. I mean, you see things are like moving by the by the millimeter. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna readjust this. Okay. This piece is gonna go up. We're gonna glue this down. Now, because this is a showcase piece, I don't want my foam board to look so yucky. Because normally, like for a party, is the the back side is just facing the wall, but on this one, it is still facing the wall, I think. But I want to make sure it looks nice. So we're gonna be putting streamers on the foam board to cover the foam board completely. So I've done that before. I don't know if you guys remember, but you can look back. But we're gonna be doing that today. So if you want to see more examples, you can. I'm gonna glue down this piece pen. next. So you can change the color of pen. It's selected with the fine pen. There's so many colors. But this is looking, she's looking so good, right? So, um, oh, if you're wondering, I know I'm still working on it, on the skin color cardstock. But this color for Belle, it is a color from the curated uh, skin the color collection that has not yet launched. <laughs> hopefully soon, hopefully in February. The delays in the shipping is bananas. I have most of the colors. I don't have all the colors. So that's where we are, but I think the skin color is great for Belle. So you never know what to put in until Design Space tells you Okay, I'm gonna pull this piece up. Okay, so you can click here. You can change the color and the issue is not here. Now, while we're on drawing, let's go find an image. And we're gonna go back. Right now, we're just in this simple cut sampler. We're only in this project. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go back. Now, um, this is all for the expo, so that's going to be January 20, Saturday, January 22nd. And so, uh, leading up to it, I should be there on Friday, so I'll do a live just to show you around um, as me as just like a spectator. But on Saturday, um, I will be in the booth with Polytape, so I'm super excited about um, being in their booth. And... Um, 
my earrings popped up a little bit, so I'm just going to press down. Um, so I'm going to be in their booth. We're going to do a live. It's uh, going to be at 11 o'clock Pacific, so 2 o'clock Eastern. Um, if you're on the live, then you're eligible to win one of five prizes. So we've got five prizes going on, and it's going to be really, really fun. Um, so make sure that you write that down, tune in. And okay, I'm gonna move out the eyes for now. We're gonna do the eyes afterwards. And put down her face. So, um, so yeah. So join us. I mean, that week I'm gonna be going live many times. We're also gonna be visiting together. We rise. So that foster advocate group. Um, so excited because of the fundraiser that we're doing in February. More details on that later. Um, so we're going to see their new headquarters and be able to show you. And I plan on doing a lot with them this year. I want, you know, I think um, our crafting community is a great, like that's a great organization for us to work with because um, all the fun stuff that we do, the kids would love, right? So we can personalize some shirts, personalize their suitcases, um, do fun things that they don't get, you know, because they don't have someone, they don't have mom, moms and dads doing all this extra stuff for them. So um, because they don't, I would love for us to jump in and be able to take over that spot and brighten up their day a little bit so a lot, a lot going on with them this this year so i'm excited to tour their place and just to kind of get to know them so that they know also like what i do what we're capable of and together we can come up with some really cool ideas okay face is all down so let's do this mouth so the mouth is easier because it's you know it's all just right there but. And it falls in perfectly because the cricket cut it perfectly, right? So that goes in. Okay, let's do these eyes. So I need to glue down the brown. So. Don't mind my phone. I don't, gosh, I never have it on sound, but let me turn it down. Okay, turn it off. Here we go. So that's one eye. Let's do this one. So yes, yeah, so David and I will be touring together. We rise headquarters. That should be a lot of fun for me. Um, and then we're gonna do the fundraiser together come February where you guys get a chance to win a custom sneaker custom pair of sneakers from David he's gonna make that however you want it it's gonna be super cool I'm gonna put this in so um, all you need to do is donate and we're not putting a minimum on it because everybody's budget is different it's just about showing up for these kids. So I don't care how much you donate. We have a lot of followers between the three of us, between Polytape, myself, David, all of you guys have your followers if you want to, you know, help spread the news. So it's, you know, it's not about each person donating a ton of money. It's just about the community getting together and together coming up with a fabulous amount. So, um, so yeah, if you donate, you it's one entry only. So as long as you donate, you're entered. So again, I'm not really focused on the dollar amount, but together we will raise a lot of money for Together We Rise. So, um, so yeah, so you would win, you could possibly win a custom pair of sneakers 
an off the mat, custom off the mat from me. Um, and from Polly, I should have. So annoyed that I didn't see that little piece right there. This is not what we want to happen. I'm gonna look at that later. It's like a little piece of extra cardstock hanging out. Okay, so we've got everything down but the hair at this point. So the hair is gonna be so difficult. Um, let's do this bottom, this part right here first. So I feel like once we narrow down this piece, everything else will fall into place. So I'm going to do this piece first, this big, I'm going to take out this piece. Um, let's see, what else were we talking about? Um, oh, I also have, I'm going to be working the Artist Spree booth at Creativation, I think is what it's called. It's a convention in Florida so I'm super excited to be doing that like I've never been to a crafting convention and I'm going to two this year so far um, the one in two weeks in less than two weeks uh, with poly tape in Long Beach California then the other one I want to say is Orlando but I'm not completely sure if it's Orlando no I know for sure it's Florida I need to look it up I need to actually book my flight book my hotel um, but I'll be in both. Yeah, I'm excited that I get to um, participate as just, you know, a crafter walking around. I'll have time to do that. But I'll also get to participate as someone working in a booth or like, well, not like a booth booth, but you know, um, I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to work with these companies. So hope to see you there. But if I don't see you there, You'll see, you can join me because I'll be sure to be live. Okay. Uh, this piece goes. Have you guys seen Nightbot? I thought I saw him. Danny, is Nightbot here? And while that is going down, I'm actually just going to put this down while it's drying. Let's move over here. The last two pieces I will we'll do afterwards. I just want to make sure it's drying flat right there. And we can kind of do this piece by piece as well. Okay, so like, how do I pick this up without touching everything else? Okay, I'm gonna do this piece first. I would love to get your feedback because for me it's hard to be a little bit unbiased I always love doing Belle because you know she's got a beautiful face Cricut cuts it perfectly it's very hard to mess this one up but um, I, I am loving all these colors right now and what's his name yellow gold Sunshine. Is that his name? Sunflower. I think it's sunflower. <laughs> and let me know if you would even ever try this. <laughs> it would make doing the t-shirt, like if you were to do a birthday t-shirt, it would make matching it a lot easier. Okay, let's do this one. After I do this third piece, I'm going to move my sunglass case over here and we'll finish off that side. Yeah, it's sunflower. I definitely don't want to get glue on the HTV because I not all of them. I don't know how it's going to react. Okay. I don't know how it's going to look. It's so pretty. You guys aren't really excited okay, about I'm gonna this at this all. Are you? Over here. I'm gonna put this down a little bit. It doesn't need a lot of weight. Obviously, streamers aren't heavy, but it just helps to so make sure that it's flat. Okay, we have a lot more yep, in the class. So these two learn. pieces are still lining so, up well. Uh, Yay! We're gonna go ahead Let's and get do glue this giveaway, down. And we have more giveaways coming, so don't go away. 
This class usually lasts about an hour. Sometimes I go over this one, I promise you. It's gonna be longer. There's so much to learn. The winner does get to pick for the So because of this project, want. because I knew I wanted to do the HTV here, um, when I did the HTV, I cut it with extra, like on a different setting, because I wanted it to cut through go. the carrier sheet so that I didn't have to deal with the excess we carrier sheet. Nine, five, I thought it was gonna be too chat. hard for me to deal with all the stickiness while trying to, um, trying to press to the HTV on the cardstock. So because I did that, that's how we came up with the hack for HTV okay. when you're weeding big intricate proje projects, right? So I hope that all made sense for you. I just recorded like an overview on that, but we can talk about it in a second. So this, these three pieces are glued down. They're big pieces, which now I just need to do these three and then these four down here. Um, okay, so looks good. Spacing still looks good, so I'm super happy about that. Okay, let's talk about this Cricut hack, okay? This Cricut HTV hack. So when you do one of those like intricate man mandalas, mandala projects, okay. um, you know, it's basically one big piece uh, with a lot of cutouts, right? So if you were to do that as an HTV project, it would involve a lot of weeding, right? Like the owl that I did as an example. Uh, Steph Craft Rain, she did that and um, she confirmed that it took her an hour and 50 minutes, I believe, to weed the whole project. So, and I believe her because I spent an hour weeding and I still have a lot more to go. So, what happens is instead of, you still do everything the same, like you're still going to mirror. You're still gonna put your HTV shiny side down on the mat to cut, but now, instead of selecting some, an HTV um, setting, um, I used glitter cardstock, knowing that the glitter cardstock was gonna cut I'm through gonna on, on the carrier sheet. That that so what done. ends up happening uh, is when it's done do cutting and when you go pull it off the mat, the all the pieces that you would have spent time weeding, the, the hour and 50 minutes you would have spent weeding, it's going to stay on the mat so there's no oh, weeding. The I know. Cutie. It's crazy, right? So good. All right. Uh, this put this over. I'm gonna put, actually, I'm going to put both that down. It's and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to put this. I don't want to put it on top of Belle because it's going to shift everything. But you can kind of see it over here. Look at that. That owl is gorgeous, right? But it's all one piece. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in another project. This is actually for this project. Do you recognize this character? It's the beast. It's hard to see, but it is none. Wait, maybe I don't have it the right way. Oh yeah, no, that's because his eyes are right there. So it's the beast. I'm gonna put this down. So see, look, it's all one piece. Everything that I would have spent time weeding is still on my green mat. So. Okay. That is the hack that I'm so proud of, like, piecing it all together. And it all came about because of this project. Oh, I didn't do this bottom part yet. Um, and so I just, I love it. Like, who would have thought to put HTV on and off the mat, right? And then because I wanted to experiment with it, we got a hack out of it. So I love it. All right, so let's glue down these two pieces here and then these two pieces here. And then we're almost done with the bottom and then we'll get, we'll do the foam board and you don't have to stay for the whole time for the, um, for the streamers because once you see me start to do it, it'll make sense. kind of cards. These are all cards. These cool, crazy card, crazy cool cards are really, really awesome. So pretty. I love it. They're so much fun. So anyway, since we're just chit chatting, um, some of the comments asked me, and actually even my husband, even before the comments, he, um, well, first of all, he's, we have a very funny relationship where we just, you know, ride each other all the time about stuff. So I was so excited about this hack, right? Oh, I don't like the way this piece came down, but now it's stuck. 
Is it just me? I feel like I don't like that piece, but okay, I'm going to put that down. Um, he's giving me a hard time. He's like, well, yeah, it's a cool hack, but like, how long have you been crafting? Like, why did it take you so long? And then he said, all right, well, what are you going to do with the negative pieces? Like what's left on the mat? Like, could you turn that into a t-shirt too? So I'm going to experiment. I, I have an idea. Someone someone gave me an idea i had a different idea in it but in either case both cases i mean um it will ruin my cutting mat but i'm going to test out both since i have a lot of samples here to to play around with so my point is <laughs> long story short um i would love other ideas things that you want to see me experiment because i do have a lot of supplies and my whole thing is doing these tutorials so instead of you going through your materials share your ideas with me i'll experiment and together i'm sure we'll come up with something amazing so we're gonna go to shapes almost done with this bottom there's a lot more shapes in design space but these are just convenience right here we're gonna use a square Still very pretty. Okay, so now we need, I'm gonna move this down a little bit so it's closer to me. We're gonna just adjust a little bit. We don't have much to adjust. It's only the hair that we can move at this point. So you just wanna make sure that if there is any um, adjusting to be made, that we know it's really just the hair pieces. So we only have so much to play with to make this look nice and even and beautiful. Or I can just go up here and put the number, which is much easier. If you know the exact I think that looks good. Uh, I think I this like needs to be color. moved over a little bit. Oops, so we're going to change it to yellow. Um, <sighs> okay. This is the front of a card, but it's not a complete card. You want a card that you can fold. So we don't want this to be only 5 inches. We really want it to be 10 because we want to double it. Now, okay. how do we know where to put this? We can't see it when we move it over. There's two ways to move. I think we're good. More than two ways. I okay, so I want to do first. this piece you first. Come over here and drag it. So I'm and the reason is I want to do this piece and this piece and first because everything so else can kind of get spread out. Um, I don't want to get stuck up here and then all of a sudden I need to do something like crazy like so this. Okay. The middle, Not that we would let that happen, but... Um, we are going to I'd rather kind of start in the middle and, and then kind of adjust any of my errors on now the outside. You do not have a score left. So we're going to drag this over here. On okay, here we go. Make that long like that. Just move this over. This is not the center. I want to find the real center, ah. but I don't want to spend time doing that. As I you move everything center, over there. Just right. drag this over so it touches both of them. It will select everything. We know it's selected because in the layers panel, they're both gray. So now we want to go to align. It's right up here. See where my mouse is? Click align and click center. So now it's good. centered. Now, okay, let's get this if we were to piece. click off of that, nothing selected, and move this. Oh no, we messed up. It's not in the center any longer, is it? Because we moved it. So let's go back, align. Align, center, and now we're going to go down here to attach because we want that attach. And I can't see the bottom. I'm going to go up a little bit. All right. I want to uh, do this piece so that I can oh, now there's nothing to attach. It's all laid out. Actually, you know what? No. Let me just get back down. Now when you attach something, look what I'm going to put that down for now. Um, all right. While that's drying for so just a second, I'm going to go get a foam board and we'll talk so about the foam board. Just drag this up here. Mm, okay. And now it's back at the Oh. And just to show you a blooper, look at her lips. I don't know if you can tell. I melted that thing. I put it on for way too long. So, all right. Let me move these out of the way. And we have the foam board right here. Right click. And move this so that's ready okay also. So there's three ways let's do this there's middle piece more than one right way here. to do a lot of things in design space <clears throat> what is the difference between the 99 membership and the 499 
when you click on the join, you can click on those and it gives you the perks. And if you're wondering, this fairly art, this is the position tab. So you can see, like, I have a lot of control over how much glue is coming out. Membership will give you uh, access so to truly, if too much glue is coming out, it's definitely For those of you who join user error uh, and not the glue. My project right, so. for the four ninety nine or two dollars. The best way to do it is only two dollars. I'm gonna quickly put these so down so that I can. Um, you get access to all my files. Put That's something cool. heavy on it that and walk away less. and do the other sections. And you know, I think you might get a little more for the two dollars. And if you want the emojis, do 99 cents. Um, but when you support at that price, you get a secret password. Well, here's what happens. <laughs> this is what happens. And I put in the We're password. almost there. I can't believe it. Okay. And my software for holding my password wants One to One more piece. And then you have all of these. You can go by theme. There's lots of them. You can go by type. All right, I'm gonna put this down. And that should see. cover a lot of it. Um, okay, Excuse let's me. start doing these pieces, Welcome, Laura. right? Um, but I have lots of videos on helping you how, know how to I feel like these pieces well. are pretty good. And then I think this one needs to go up pages, a little bit more. Or you can just search right here also. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece. Okay, let's go back. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here, let me show you. When you click on these, you just click open, and it will open in Design Space. There's no uploading. You just click open. And it comes over on my other And side. I don't know if you guys participated in this last project. year. I did this not. Because I was still really new to things. Barely Art. And, and I also have it in draw already just like for you. Here's the so busy case. minding my own business. Really <laughs> I didn't have time to do the crafting for, or the cards for Cubs. So I'm excited that they're going to do that this year. I don't know what it really entails. So I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to get the details. Um, even though I'm not really a card maker. Well, I'm not a card maker. Not you cannot not, not really, but like not at all. <laughs> um, but I know it's for foster kids. So I mean... <laughs> If you want to make sure right, I'm going to use my little tweezers on this one because I feel like I can't what hold I it that well. What I do is I get another shape. I'm going to change it so you can see the color. Okay, so that's it's down. Okay. This piece is not down. I want to make this exactly but that gets us over there. I'm going to lift wide. this up. Oops. I'm still going to put this down. All right, so let's look at this, this for a minute. Lock. It also unlocks this lock. And we're going to make this seven because it's a five by seven card. We're going to put it right on top of that. We're going to grab That's the good, drawing right? okay, here. So let's do this. We can just scoot that up on top. We are almost done. Now, oh my gosh. We can select the drawing there. Hold down the shift key on our key. So anyway, and select it. cards if for cubs. I hope you guys join me on that. Is like I don't like I said I don't know exactly what we're doing. Um, I so believe what you do is you make the cards and you send it in to Barely Art and, and that gets distributed to these kids um, now if you want it in the exact center, you accordingly. Can so I kind of like it a I'm higher. all for it. So um, let's move this back up. And we're going to hold down our shift key, select the green one. But you'll have to let me know if you guys have been to crafting conventions. Um, I'm also going, oh, you know, as a, um, just a, a crafter interested in going, um, I'm going to craftcation, the Dear Handmade Life. I'm getting all the names confused. Well, you know how I am. I can barely keep them straight. Um, so I'm going to that in April before the Florida trip. That one is in Ventura County, California. And so I don't know if you follow her, but this is Tisa. So um, she, I saw on her page, she's going to be a speaker. Exactly so I'm super looking forward to, to hearing her speak in person. 
Her feed is gorgeous. Now, if you want to do draw um, on the front of a card, it's like, here's what I like to do because I like layers Everything on a just card, looks perfect. Just <laughs> it's all rainbows and, shape. but just like sophisticated rainbow. I don't know. I really, I'm gonna unlock it I love her stuff. Okay, so here's that piece. Where it fits on the shape. You're like, oh, thank goodness. I was like, I ugh, this side is not looking good. Okay, so I have two pieces I can kind of play with to make it look so good. So now I can draw here. Does that look now, good? That looks good. Text, okay. Um, we're going to click text. If we want drawing text, we're going to go to style. So the font is here. Before we even choose a font, we're going to change this. Last to, piece. Yay. Writing. You can choose regular, italic, bold, depending on your font. If, if your font does not have a writing font that you have selected, this will not be an option. Oh my gosh. You can change it to write, even if it doesn't have a She looks great, right? Give you the bubble letters. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put this down for a second. Um, let's get the foam board part ready. What you need um, is you need a so sharp um blade now, i need to change out this blade so that's why i'm going to go back to my cricut on this project i usually I use my excel blades I but i ruined the blade recently cricut. well i don't know if i ruined it or if it's just time to change it out i was using it a lot um okay so i need this i also need a white pencil because i'm using a black foam board so here's my pencil perfect Okay. I can do my I'm gonna take this off. Fonts. I'm gonna put her on the phone board. A lot of the Cricut fonts have built-in offset, and you'd want to go to multi. And we're gonna trace, so okay? Right so we're gonna trace the outline. Online. Notice these have a button here for download. And we're gonna cut. If you download them, they will be saved for offline. Inside. This is a great way oh, to geez. save your favorite Cricut well, fonts. Well, it's a white pencil, I so I can definitely erase that. But I basically wrote on my black cardstock. <laughs> Um, we're going to cut inside the lines, and this will be our backing so that it'll be nice and easy to handle, and we don't have to worry about anything getting bent or ripped. And this is a nice piece because she's, I mean, she's basically an oval shape, right? There's no te like little piece hanging out except for this little guy down here. That's the only piece that's um, that I think is Look kind of uh, is. hanging out. So you can see it. Isn't that a beautiful font? Um, there are some others. There's some that have hearts in them, flowers in them, swirlies in them. I need to sharpen this pencil. There are so many. You can hear <laughs> it's like scraping. Is Carly's okay. So I'm going to pull this out, I'm going to put it aside, Carly's and I'm actually going to let it um, I'm going to do Carly's sketch. So it kind out. of fills it in a little bit. And with a heavy mat on the, the hair. In it will be. Oh, my. Okay. Wait, hold on. So we can do the same thing with this. I'm holding down my shift key, clicking on this back part, clicking align, center horizontally, and then we want to attach. I'm putting a lot of heavy things on it while it's relaxing over there. <laughs> okay, so you can see my whole bell, right? I'm gonna now cut on the inside of the white lines. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. I love having this self-healing mat. I'm gonna trim off this a little bit more so that I don't have this long board over here because I don't need it. So see how easy that cut? I'm just going to trim these pieces so that I can easily film this now. Okay. I'm even going to trim this. Alright. Here we go. So on the bottom, I do want to stay kind of true to the line, inside the line, because in case this is going to be propped up on something, I'm not really sure how it's going to be displayed inside the booth. So I'm going to stay kind of close to that line. Does that make sense? Okay. 
We have, how many likes do we have on the video? 797. And we have 739. And actually, you know what? I'm pretty tempted. We'll do a $25 giveaway to Let me see how this is going to work. Okay. Um, you guys, so I want to just cut that off, but video. I'm not going to. Okay. So we've got the bottom. Now we're going to do inside the white lines up here because we don't want to go past our character up here. Up here, if we get just like a general shape, like what you're seeing me do, this will support the character enough. Okay. So, because she's, you know, she's so centered right here. If we get the majority of this covered, she's going to be able to stand propped up and like really, really well supported. And go to image. And we're just going to go back. Um, going to search thank you for. Whoops. It's great if you spell it correctly. So here are thank you cards, not limited to the joy machine. There's 15,000. Okay, let's see how well this fits her. I'm going to move all this aside. So we're going to see how that looks. Um, okay. And you can make your own. I make my own thank you cards, although this one is a pretty awesome thank you card right here. I love this one. And this little button here means I have saved it for offline. If I want to save one for offline, that means I'm going to be taking So I think this is good. This is actually anymore, much bigger than this piece. And, and it's going to have the black streamers. So I'm time. okay with it kind of hanging out a little but bit all right did, here. Because that way, if this piece is going to stand on something, it will stay really um, supported. And then I'm going to turn this around so you can see what it looks like on the back side. So you can see it doesn't go all the way to the edge, but it looks really good, I think. Um, can we make a joy card? I think we're okay. I want to trim off this a little bit. Um, let's go to my projects. To find the joy cards, you have to have the joy selected. And we're going to go to projects over here. Okay, so let's do the streamers, okay? Um, now this part is craziness, okay? <laughs> it's not my favorite, but it makes it look so much nicer. So, wait, hold on, let me see. Yeah, this is the right side, okay. So, Belle is actually underneath here, okay? Like our real Belle is going to be um, on this side glued this way, facing out this way, okay? So this is the back back that we're seeing. Uh, what the wall is seeing, if you want to think about it that way. So here, we're going to be layering. So this is just regular crepe paper from the Dollar Tree. We're just going to be layering stack by stack, okay? So I'm going to take out my, I like using Barely Art Glue for this. So I'm just going to start my first strip. Incompatible. You want it to extend a little bit over because so it's going to fold over like this. So we're just going to have layers and layers of beautiful crepe paper. So it's going to look, so you can't see the white of the foam board. It's just going to look nicer. So um, we need scissors. So I'm going to grab scissors here. Then we're going to just continue. So, um, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go from the bottom and then I'll go back up.
divide by 7. So these are saying it's not supported. I get my sharp scissors. Okay, but we're going to change it. Okay, so you see I'm just kind of going row by row. Nothing amazing right now. And then I'll do the bottom part to show you what that looks like. And then you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. I don't want you to watch me do the whole thing. Um. Oh, how to do the projects. Okay. So we've got this down, right? So you see it's going to look like this. Nice, right? So what you want to do is basically here, I'm going to flip all this over. And I'm just going to run glue along this edge. We've already selected the cutie winner. And it can run over okay. to this side, so right? As long as it runs over enough, we're not going to see it because it's going to be covered with bell. What I want to do is I want to move this all the way over here. And if I have the same insert card that you buy for the joy, you just put it down so the corner So of here's it one side here. of it. You want to it will look like this. A quarter of an inch. So if you put yeah, your looks um, good. Oh, you want to leave an eighth of an inch for this. If you put your paper halfway between So I'm just pressing it down, make sure it stays so glued. That. See that red one? That line is on your physical map. Okay. And then on this side, if you, I mean, these pieces will be fine, but I mean, you could put a little bit of glue just to make sure it stays down. This will get glue later, right? We're going to put hot glue gun down here so that bell will sit on top of this. So I think, oh shoot. Uh, let's go to this shadow be enough. Oh yeah, this will be enough because, so here I'm going to, first I'm going to cut a couple lines like this, right? So it's easier to fold up and glue. Okay, so then I'm going to add glue down here. we're just going to change this. So we're on regular. Now when I click here, I want I'll do it up to there, okay? So I kind of just want to make this tight. No one's going to really see this bottom part, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So you can kind of see, I'm going to put a little bit of glue up here to keep this part. Oh, we have likes. Okay, Stuck to after this. I get to this, we'll get to the uh, $25 giveaway. I'm going to cut this so part off. Keep chatting. <clears throat> now this part, it's only showing one layer. The other ones are hidden in the layers panel. So if I turn this one on... This and you can start to see once the glue up. starts to sink yeah. into the crepe paper, the, the streamer layer, paper, We'll close in the one it just kind of stays where it's where we, we put have, it. Um, so now I'm gonna. So this like part is all glued down. I'm gonna continue over here, and then once I'm done with this with this bottom part, I'll bring Belle back, put her on, so that you can see what it looks like and what a difference it makes. It's you know it's definitely it's definitely more work, but. I like and it. It's gonna be the same I just don't always do it. And Actually, I think, um, when did I do this? I did it once, box. I think. But, if you um, decide, but the one time I did it, I it was an happy. order for like happy. six if characters. <laughs> so when I say I did it, I did it a lot. Okay. Lines. So now this is on its own. Notice how that changed there. And this is on its own. And don't ever forget the undo button. Yeah, let's see. Let so if I undo, there. now it's back to that. It's all to one. We click on advanced and ungroup lines. So now I can choose this and make this a different font. And this is the birthday cakes font. 
also has offset. Okay, so tidy. we're almost done with this bottom section. Um, okay, now you can also use it. Again. No, I want to put just a little bit right you there because I don't want that to show at all. So I'm going to Now what that's going to do is ungroup each letter. You can change the size of just one letter. You can change the font that of just one letter. What you got? And it changes the background too. Okay, so, so this part it. from here to here is done. Okay. I'm gonna do this okay. side and okay. then I'm gonna show you Belle. You can change the color. So if I want this key to match these colors, I can click on that, go up here to the square and click this one. These top colors are what are in your projects. Thank you, Sue. So we can click on that. Now we need to click the background piece and match it with the background piece. So now that matches much better. Um, now if we want, I'm going to show you this one first. I'm going to move these together. I'm going to lift this so down. There's a little piece missing right together. here. Then I'm going to put. So I'm moving the letters closer together. Whoops, further apart. So I want them like that. Now I'm going to mm -hmm. under to layers. So now I have the layers. Okay. And um, uh, these pieces I'm just going to cut off. Alright, you ready to see it? So this is the this is the front side that we're going to put bell on top. This is the back side. So you see how the back side looks really nice? And here's the side. Side view is all black. That's not what we so this want. is what Bell's going to look Thank like. Thank you for subscribing. So I'm going to select all these. And we're going to weld. So it's you're going to see a little bit here, so but it's just sitting on the bottom. There. And this, this is what it's going to look all like. Together. So, all right. I hope that was helpful. Um, gosh, I just, um, I love it. So, so let me know if you're going to use it, what you want to see, all that good stuff. All right. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Catch you later. Uh, that will also get you